Hey, everybody, it's Tiffany with Range Master, and I am back with another episode of Meet the Trainers for TACCON 23. Unfortunately, we are losing another trainer. You know, it happens. Monday is like the the day of the, the month of the what like there's like this this vacuum where, you know, it's like the October surprise in, in, in elections. But we always have hiccups in March because, of course, it's almost time for the event. So what better time for stuff to go wrong? Right. So we lost another trainer. Um, John Murphy is not going to be able to join us in Dallas, but we are lucky, lucky, lucky because we have none other than Brian Eastridge That's joining correct. us. All right. I, I, I spent some time totally mispronouncing your name until I actually looked at it and I was like, that's not Estridge, it's Eastridge. So anyway, I apologize for the years that I spent saying your name incorrectly, but I'm glad I got it right this time because you are the star of the hour because you have come to our rescue and you're making sure that everyone who signed up for before, during, and after is now still going to have a marvelous class to attend. So I will talk more about that little schedule tweak in a minute, but first, without further ado, for anyone who doesn't know you, Brian, please introduce yourself. Well, I'm Brian Eastridge. I'm from Oklahoma City. And uh, it first of all, it's a great honor. And it was a very pleasant surprise to get a phone call from Mr. Givens the other day. And and uh, I was happy to happy to to step in. So I appreciate Thank that you. and throw a shout out to you and Tom for that. And but I've been, I've been a cop for almost 21 years and a firearms instructor for about 21 of that. And, uh, I've, I've always been kind of the oddball that stayed, uh, on top of training trends and things like that. And, uh, would actually pay to go to like open enrollment training and stuff like that away from institutional bureaucracy and whatnot. And, uh, for that, I spent some time in the 82nd airborne division um, jumping out of planes and doing the, uh, the military thing and, and unique time. It was kind of before the whole global war on terror thing kicked off. So I was a stateside soldier, but, um, and that's where I really got into shooting quite a bit, but so I've been active in the shooting training world for, Gosh, that's been almost 25 years, but I, I, I've kept a pretty low profile until the last couple, uh, since about 2018. And, uh, let's see, I host the off duty on duty podcast. That's kind of where a lot of, um, I've made connections with a lot of the range master family there because uh, they tend to be frequent guests. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I've got EDC belt company. It's a small product company that we make a concealed carry belt because, 20 years of wearing a Sam Brown leather belt kind of took a toll and I wanted to be comfortable when I was carrying off work. So, um, necessity is the mother in invention and there it is. So, and I was pleasantly surprised to see like 80 people at TACCON last year were wearing my belt and I'm like, Hey, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> cause we do hand make those here in uh, Yukon, Oklahoma. So, you know, uh, every time you buy one of those, you're, you're helping a, couple of school kids out and and uh so it's a good 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 thing i guess very cool very cool well you are certainly no newcomer to TACCON. you've been coming to TACCON for quite a while you're a range master certified instructor tom has a great deal of respect for you and um Truth be told, Tom was planning to invite you to teach, <laughs> um, but we had to accelerate the schedule a little bit, given the fact that we had this unexpected vacancy. So you are teaching a class called Skill Building, the Fundamentals in Context. It's a four-hour live fire block, and it's going right in the same spot that before, during, and after had been. So your first offering is Saturday at 145, all afternoon in Bay 6. And then you're going to repeat that block on Sunday, same time block, same Bay, Bay 6. So tell us, and those two classes are full already. So folks, sorry, you can't jump into Brian's class unless he has an open spot from a no-show. But for the, the pre-signups, both those, both, ah, I can't talk. Let's try that again. 
both those classes are already full. All right. So Brian, for the folks who've already signed up for this class, tell us what we can expect in skill building fundamentals in context. Well, it's a condensed version of a one and two day course that I do that, um, I found in the training world, we kind of, uh, there's like this gap in the middle between, I know how to run a gun and I know how to run a gun at a really high level of proficiency. And sometimes we skip the, uh, skip the middle part and we go from, I got, okay, I know how I'm fairly proficient to now I'm really above my, um, competency level and I, and I'm struggling in classes. And so I kind of developed this, I would say intermediate program, uh, to really address what's important, what you can kind of file away as in the context of this, that's unimportant. Uh, and it's just a really get to the point of what matters, uh, for shooting in like a defensive context. Right. And I start with the four safety rules and I'm going to give a spoiler. Uh, if you've ever attended something from like Wayne Dobbs or Daryl bulky about like the four firearm safety rules, uh, part of my lecture, we go into, we go into that into pretty good detail and I give you a lot of, I try to give a lot of thought provoking, um, application of those and places that I've seen it fail multiple times. Uh, so that that's a big, a pretty good size portion of it. And then I've really been a student of like Cooper's combat triad. And I've tried to really dig into that material. And it's one of the things he wrote the least about. <laughs> so I I've consequently, I've had to do a lot of study from people that have, uh, been either gunsight instructors or people that have, that were, uh, in contact with him or, or had relationships with Colonel Cooper. And I really feel like it is the best overlay to evaluate your training and to evaluate uh, actual lethal force encounters, uh, officer involved shootings, things like that. It's the perfect template that we can see where we excelled and where we went wrong or where things failed. And, uh, so I like to convey that in a, you know, kind of a condensed lecture. And then this is, this is going to sound a little weird, but I had, uh, growing up, I, I, I kind of found later in life that I had some issues with like dyslexia as a kid and transposing things. So I always learned things from the result backwards. Mm -hmm. And I try to, can, I've, I've found that's been a pretty effective, uh, way to, uh, develop live fire training blocks is to go from the bang backwards. If that makes sense. I mean, hopefully it does to some people. Yeah. yeah sounds interesting actually. <laughs> and it is, it is not, uh, it's not pretty or sexy or any of that stuff. It's work and it's intensely focused work. And that's something uh, that I've, I've kind of taken that, that path with how I, how I train people in live fire training is it's almost like going to the gym and getting a workout. There's some entertainment value to it, but very little, it's very focused, intense, hard work. And, uh, and the whole purpose of that is so that we anchor those concepts into subconscious performance. Uh, so that, you know, if you are in an, a lethal force encounter, the shooting solution is a very simple solution, right? I mean, it's a very simple answer to the problem and that frees your brain up to think about all the other things surrounding the incident. Right. And, the, and I've, I've taken some of that from police work, some of that from shooting schools and tried to condense it into four hours as best I can. So. That sounds like a jam packed four hours. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot. And fortunately when, when Tom mentioned, he said, he goes, I've got two, four hour blocks and I have taught this very block, um, I, the four hour format of it about two dozen times. So I've got it down to a pretty good time flow. So awesome. 
Well, perfect. It sounds like you're the perfect person for this job. And again, I cannot thank you enough for coming to our aid and and letting us push our invitation about a year early <laughs> to bring you on board here. We we cannot wait to have you join the TACCON cadre. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the, you were already a member of the Rangemaster family, but welcome to the TACCON cadre. And I am so excited to see you in Dallas. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Tiffany.